first down. Murray. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. You're mine. Looking to throw on second down. Carr being chased out left. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. A very solid gain of 27. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. Now they try the right side here. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got three. Three down. Three down. To throw on second down. Carr. And his throw is incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three, set, 180. 6.37. Shotgun now for Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, it actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, the Patriots gearing up to go now. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now, but the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together formulating a streak but the whole month of December is still left to play they think they can get in and they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now it's win this game and look to next week excellent focus meanwhile they take a shot to start the drive but this is going to wind up incomplete Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Off the play fake, Winston. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, certainly it appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think that. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. third down Winston 
Wide open receiver complete. And all the way down to the 35. A big play there on third down for the Pats. And even 40 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. The first down throw for Winston. A hit as he throws there incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Three, two, three. Play fake, Winston. And that's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, anytime, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. To the air again with Winston. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Jameis now on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield. Second and goal. Easy, easy. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Sony Michelle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. So out come the Raiders. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. 
Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set them back for second down. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. But they face a second and long to start things out. Go Chief! This one across the 35. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Carr again here on second and 10. Dancing to his left. Troy stays up, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Hassan Reddick able to get him for a loss of about three. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Ready, go away. Three, triple team. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Play action now, Winston. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A good pickup there, a 22. 
And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, and he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and then, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on the line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. Winston now to throw on first down. Oh, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, Tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain, they would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was played. I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days, you're going to think that you were. <laughs> and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. New England on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Ready. White 25. They'll run it here. This is James White. A yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. On first and ten, Winston. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll go down at the 28. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's Winston. This is White on the screen. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short gain. New England on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time, it's third and three. From the gun, Winston. Got his man complete over the middle. It's low. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Winston of the offense with a first and ten. And he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. 
It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. On second down, Michelle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. Two running plays go backwards. So what's the call on third and 13 now? Jameis to throw it to Michelle on the screen. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Now whistles, and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. And now Oakland ready to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From midfield, here's Carr. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. The 20! And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one goes for 36 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. And he is caught with the seven-yard line. And he's brought down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Again, it's Carr. Forced out to a touchdown. Raiders. So they just do get the touchdown in before halftime, and now a PAT will tie it. So what we're seeing is one team is going to be really excited right now. How about the other side, though? Will they be deflated? Or will they go ahead and gather themselves, regroup at halftime, and come back out because we had an even half? Yeah, we did. We'll see. Should be a good second half, that's for sure. 
Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. the party started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard that'll be taken in the end zone and the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20 the Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They go play action here on first down. He's going to fire one deep over. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. First down, Winston. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Gronk, so tough to cover, sometimes the flag's going to come out. His size and his ability create a lot of these pass interference calls. If you're trying to go through him to get to the ball, that's almost impossible, and he benefits on the play. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. On second down, Winston again. Here as he's taken down. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop something big to knock them back on their heels? New England on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and a mile. Ready. Blue ready. Working out of the gun, Winston. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. 
And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they want them to do in the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this time. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. that time and it moves the chains as well partner those are back-to-back -back six yard runs and if they're going to continue to get those types of plays shoot you just keep running the same stuff don't you that yeah, was first and ten and second and four now first and ten again ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten here's car to throw out to his left And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. Carr. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they'll get this well past midfield before they stop just before the 35. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Carr now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. And they'll run it here. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Car to throw on second down. And Josh Hill has it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. coverage result touchdown out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away that's fielded in the end zone and they'll start in a hole here as he's brought down at the 11 yard line well conventional football football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return that's a disappointment but some of these team special teams coaches with approval by the head coach they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive almost what we call the green light red light theory green light means go red light means stop looks like he had green on that play Ready. 
This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. Gets around him and brought down, but not before reaching the 25. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's Winston. On the crossing route, complete. That's low. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. touchdown now on the year and the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up a little surprising they wouldn't go for two but this is up and good and that will level the playing field at 17 all so we're right back where we started all even as the kicks away And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Derek Rivers in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. 694. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Flush to his right. Now he's going to go deep down the left side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. The Raiders on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 16. To throw its car. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I would dare say that these guys will have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. It's taken to the 26. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. So the Patriots coming out now. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They'll 
Trying to get this offense going with Michelle. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And it's Michelle once again. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. It was Maurice Hurst who got him down. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Bay. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll try to throw now, Winston. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Winston. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Give him 30 yards there. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll turn to Michelle as they go back to the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Go. 
Second down, Winston. Wide open, Gronkowski. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots have moved out in front. The point after is good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here come the Raiders. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Carr again here on second and 10. And going deep for Hill. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do with you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. He'll have a first down past the 40, and this is caught. Amari Cooper he gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. On first down, Carr. To the right side, he's got Cooper, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it, that's basically <laughs> what he said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second down, here's Carr. And he's caught inside the five. And he's brought down. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now they'll run. Murray. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. He'll get it up the middle. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. 
Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think this. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Patriots have it. Holding on to the football, becoming a little bit of an issue. He had two fumbles last week, remember? I played for a guy that used to talk all the time about creating turbulence in the pocket, making the quarterback jumpy, making Mancy, keep getting after him a little bit, and make sure he thinks about holding on to the ball because you're going after him. Winston now, after the fumble recovery. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Four down, four down. Check. Ready? Move ready. Check. Ready? Check. Ready? Check. Ready? Check. Ready? Now a pitch out to Michelle. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this is going to be incomplete. The former Pro Bowl linebacker Anthony Barr there to jar it free. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48 yard punt, but 10 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because. To be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, yeah. let it Short go, term memory. and move on to the next series. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 44. Now a play fake, Carr. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Anthony Averett picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. This is Michelle on the counter. They find some open field here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Michelle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. A give. This is Michelle. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Now whistles, and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Hey, New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and four. down here as he's taken down at the 24. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. This is Michelle, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Patriots... They'll finish the first half of the schedule dead even at 4-4. Four and four. And they will head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for Oakland, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.